subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In Python, you can interact with external programs or system commands using the subprocess module. This module provides a flexible way to spawn and interact with subprocesses. In this tutorial, we will explore how to call external programs in Python with the subprocess module, along with code examples. To use the subprocess module, you need to import it at the beginning of your Python script or program. The most straightforward way to call an external program is by using the subprocess.run function. This function takes a list of command line arguments as its first parameter. In this example, the lsl command is executed, and the result is printed. The subprocess.run function returns a completed process object, which contains information about the completed process, such as the return code. You can capture the output of the external program by setting the stout parameter to subprocess.pipe. This allows you to access the output as a string. In this example, the output of the echo command is captured and decoded from bytes to a UTF-8 string. You can check for errors by examining the return code of the subprocess. A return code of zero usually indicates success, while a non-zero value indicates an error. You can also run commands in a shell environment by setting the shell parameter to true. However, be cautious when using shell equals true to avoid security risks like shell injection. The subprocess module in Python provides a powerful and flexible way to interact with external programs and system commands. By using the examples provided in this tutorial, you can start incorporating external commands into your Python scripts and applications. Always be mindful of security considerations especially when dealing with user input and using the shell equals true option. Chat GPT